Welcome back to Space Engineers with your three spacefaring folk hat films on hat gaming. Thanks for subbing and liking and going to community posts and upvoting and polling and we're back. Hello. Amazing. Uh, that suit is amazing. How? Yeah, my yeah, suit. Did you get, that did you get suit? this? Did you make this yourself? It looks or? really good. Oh! Yeah, it's what? a good suit. Uh, I've got DLC, okay? I've got DLC coming up oh. on Wazoo. Uh, quick recap on what we've done in case you've skipped all those previous videos and you just want to watch from this one. Um, <laughs> we landed in a rover each on this yes. planet that has O2, which is great. <coughs> um, we broke down two of the rovers to build this rudimentary base, which has a little refinery in it. It has a survival kit to replenish our suit energy. It's got storage. It's got an assembler. It's got an O2 H2 generator, which means it can fill up our hydrogen for our jetpacks but it needs to have ice in it, which we need to get. And then I built a rudimentary mining boy. Look at him go. He's done, actually. Let's bring him back up. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's quite, quite a it's wobbly get, experience. He's getting wobbly now, Smith. He's getting wobbly. Is it actually going to gonna snap? Yeah, it was shaking It around. looks like it's going to snap. There might be We're a just point. Oh, 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 God, I just oh, I had my own, my, I have my own mining accident. <laughs> These are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, you're expendable workforce. It's a classic I didn't say about accident. fences. We should we did, probably. We did mention the fences. So, we're at a point now, I believe, where we have a decent amount of resources. So, if you guys want to consider working on a project each, and yes. I will guide each of you through it as more and more questions get raised. But I feel like if you okay. each had a project, like, do you want to build a rover uh, that yeah. can just roam around? Do you want to build a ship, a basic, like, scouting ship with uh, some guns on it or something? Um, it's going to be rudimentary to begin with because we haven't got expendable yeah. resources but um, well this is the thing what can we maximise in terms of like so what's the overarching goal is we said last space. time it's to do with getting out into space space it's space, space engineers not planet engineers exactly so space. is there something we can work on to get there I, I want you to have fun with this game so of course yeah. whatever you feel like sounds like fun like, yeah. do you want to build a wheel-based boy? Or do you want to build a little ship? What do you want to do? And then we I can like add features and attachments to it. A giant rocket truck. You want to build a giant rocket yeah. to go up as much as yeah. possible. I'd right. like to get out of this planet. In which case, Ross, you need a staging platform <laughs> with which to build it. So maybe let's, okay. let's make a, a platform. We can make a staging platform, of, probably. Of these things maybe? on the floor. Make a nice yeah. little, like, building pad where we can... Um, so we want a launch maybe pad somewhere. We yeah. want a launch pad, essentially, where you can both build the rocket and launch it. Yeah, I definitely want this to be like a rocket and not like a ship. You know, like, I sure. want us to have to climb up to the top of it on, like, a ladder and get oh stuck boy. in the top and then All just right. have a giant bomb underneath us going off, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. a big, big project. Do you want yeah. anything, like, en route to that? No, no, no. I'll, I'll start there. Okay. Excellent. Well, uh, no, I, know what I, I don't do mind either, route, either yeah. the rover or the little ship. I will build either one. It really, I don't mind. I if don't you know, know the, the fundamentals of atmospheric ship and rovering, you'll know how to do the rest. Okay. Uh, the basics of building are: you basically need a space to do it, ideally flat. So let's let's build like two building platforms for each of you. Okay. Uh, with just okay. these steel blocks. I'm going to go out further. I'm going to drill once more and see how rocky this gets. I think that might be its max. Yeah, I think we've maxed it out. Oh, you may as well drop it there then. We'll get like half of this. Okay. Three and four. Drill is activated. Three and four. Plunging. Brilliant. Yeah, we're getting something from that at least. Well, that's the maximum we can do with this this setup. So I'm we need to, to repurpose it, right? Right, move. Could you just... Could, well, if you break like a bit of this pipe trot, does the whole thing snap off and fall apart? It'll all collapse, yeah. Oh, ah. Could we create like a support, a temporary support structure you that we can. put up and then put a pivot like on this tube so we could just pivot this thing round? Yeah, we can put blocks out from this bottom conveyor up to like the, that piston up there and yeah. then replace these tubes with a pivoting system. Or I could put another piston that goes laterally so that we can literally move it across one hole's worth and oh, do another yeah. strip. That, that, might be, that might be easier. Just just do the same thing here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably a simpler project, isn't it? 
No, Trot, we can do this super easy. I, I think we can do this super easy. Okay. Look, so, like, look at this bit here. You see this, like, sh I don't know what this bit is, this shoot bit, conveyor right? tubes, that's all that is. Yeah. yeah. We put a U in this, so we put one out the side, one at the top, one that way, right? And then we just attach the piston to the top one and connect that. And so, therefore, and then we just delete the middle one in the U, if you get what I mean. Um, mm. And uh, we're good to go, so... I see what you mean, yeah. So we'll build out so the side. So we don't have to take up any, take down anything apart from one middle block. Everything else is just mean. built in around the side of we'll it. We'll end up making a capital O and then then delete the this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One side to create yeah, a, yeah. a U on its side. Yeah, and then it, yeah. you put the piston on that and that just moves the whole... I, don't, okay. I mean, the weight distribution on that is positively bonkers, but like... Yeah, right, jeez. It'll probably work. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, it's literally this is pinching a U shape <laughs> with weight down. But like, did uh, you know yeah. a U on its side, Smith? Is it just is a C? A C. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but a C has like I feel a U has straight lines, whilst a C is a curve all the way round. Right? A C is a circle with a missing hole. Also, the long edge of a C part. it doesn't match up to this. Yeah, it is a sideways U. You're right. How big is the average rocket, Trot? If you were Go on. to say, like, I mean, how many? I wanted to touch the clouds, Ross. I don't think there's such a thing as an average rocket, Ross, Okay, if I'm honest with you. The rocket we want to make, do we want to make it gymongous? Like, huge? The like bigger it is, the more thrusters it's going to need, the more power it's going to take. Okay. Just big enough to launch three dudes into space. So okay. the thing you need to know about the thrusters as well, we need mm -hmm. to use atmospheric yeah. thrusters to get us to the surface of the planet, or the, the outer yeah. orbit, and then after mm -hmm. that, those atmospheric thrusters won't work anymore. So we'll mm. need um, ion thrusters after that. So we're going to need to have okay. both. One, like, you know, on, in a, uh, on a ship you, where they have, like... Can you build like, stages in this? Can we build stages? Yeah, so, like, as in, can we have them. breakaway points? Yeah. Oh, and we're, that would require sounds less advanced. It sounds advanced, but I like it's it. It's insanely advanced. Ross, yeah. So I mean, asking. for the fu f in the future, when we build this rocket, I think that these these. Um, Wind, like windmill things we've built are yep. about the size of what you'd imagine a booster to be you know okay. so like if you imagine then the larger rocket that these boosters would be attached to so a bit bigger than these hopefully about I don't know maybe okay. like um, an 8x8 eight eight, I guess 8x8 uh, <laughs> eight eight is big I'm isn't expanding. it 4x4 four 4x4 four. Four four maybe or 3x3 three three, um, kind of square for the central rocket it might be worth making okay. I mean I'm basing this just off what I'd like to see make a small prototype first see how it flies and then break it down and make a big one. Flies. The only thing I'm trying to do is blast us off into orbit chart. I don't know what happens once we're up there. Yeah. Once we get there, the maths <laughs> are out the window. <laughs> then fair. we're just hoping and see ah, what we'll we do. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Space but bearing edition. Stop thinking. That's what we do. Oh, good. That was a risky break. Sorry, I was just doing some. Uh, Oh, oh, it sounded really intense. It was insane. What I was just it did. the same as like opening a Charizard? Oh, oh no, it was, it was more like a. Oh. I could blow up if I. I wouldn't I, know the feeling. You wouldn't know the feeling of opening a Charizard. I had a shiny Charizard <laughs> when I was a kid. I, I opened didn't. two and owned at one point three. Now I don't own any of them, and now they're all worth actual money. Sucks. Oh. <laughs> Do you not? Own, they're probably laying around somewhere. Uh, I but doubt maybe it. they're too dirty. Maybe they they've been handled. That's too the thing. Much. Like exactly. Like all these like crazy prices you hear are for like yeah. beyond it's factory condition mints. These are like perfect prints. I mean, the factory didn't even fuck this up a bit. Also, I'm fairly sure the the entire economy is held up by a few people with too much money being tricked by people with, yeah. with too many Pokemon cards. Almost like certainly. the whole valuation is just like yeah, there were a couple of guys that for some reason spent 150 grand on a, a packet of box of Pokemon cards but it's not like there's a huge economy out there of people trading daily oh Trot this is I mean I'm impressed this is wacky to see it to witness being put together I like the scaffolding that you have to kind of I head up to. in order to work yeah. on stuff that's interesting I'm excited to see it. it's like watching Grand Designs isn't it just you've seen that Grand Designs has now gone to more just, it's decided to just find the wealthiest people they can just anyone who's oh, really building. yeah <laughs> oh, they found no. like some lord and some yeah some guys part of royalty <laughs> it's building a excessive four million pound house it's nice to see sure <laughs> it, it doesn't have the same excitement it's or just, urgency just as the other ones where in like, excess. I don't have any money it's like yeah okay <laughs>
this guy just has to you know well you, they showed off his like manor house as well and stuff it's just like oh okay so this should be a, a breeze then have you um, seen escape to the chateau i have yeah not not all of them i've seen a, a few i started I it watching is. it because i was like this is an interesting idea uh, basically it's like if you don't know what it is it's a couple who buy uh they sell their flat in london um for quite a lot of money apparently and um well not i mean apparently they said they have like they sold it for 300 grand and they bought a chateau in france that was 250 grand it's a 45 room french chateau but yeah. uh with its with its own moat um it looks <laughs> incredible yeah. right and so for 250 grand you're like what how how could they like how can you get that but it turns out like this thing is just a giant it's a lot you know, of work mess. it's yeah. it's covered in lead paint it, it doesn't have working electrics or working plumbing um most of the framework of the house is like dangerously rotten and all sorts of stuff and you're like right okay fair enough that's why it's worth 250 grand and then you're like well this is interesting because yeah they've bought it they accept that it's a huge project and, they're, and now they're going to show us all about how they did it and like the old idea was one of them is like an engineer who knows how to fix things and another one of the people is a an artist and an interior designer and stuff that knows how to like decorate and stuff um and it starts and you're like oh this is an interesting concept and like um yeah yeah this they're building making things and fixing things and then there's like a couple of time jumps where it's like six to eight months and then suddenly just things are getting done and you're like what's going on here and it quite quickly emerges that like it's not some couple that's risked it all and gone over and bought 250,000 pound chalet with a 50,000 pound budget it's like oh there's actually infinite money attached to this project and they sort of just don't <laughs> talk about where it gets spent and like yeah it, it's it's Classic. kind of it quick it quickly becomes clear that it's not really what it's two rich people with oh, yeah. a television with channel four primetime television no show risk. funding uh, exactly there's no risk exactly and, <clears> and that's kind of what i was like ah, okay i'm not so interested in this anymore um so yeah. like the risk is about rich people it's, it's not though like some people like build crazy amazing houses for like 300k which yeah, is like, like someone buys a decrepit boat and then does it up yeah I've it's, seen just, that. It's, it's impressive seeing what they can do with little money which is I, I find the more appealing part of grand designs I don't mind it's not that I want to see people struggle it's just when a f show is framed in a certain way like uh, it's it's not the risk that makes it exciting it's the risk that makes it real and engaging I think and yeah, oh, it just, also adds it, adds an element of re like reality to it in terms of oh I, yeah. could, I could do this or I, like, yeah, exactly, could be a point where I could afford exactly. to do this one day rather than like yeah. ah this is like multi-million pounds and your yeah. royalty and that that could never be you, something I could you, make. But. You want to know that you could take the same risk with the same numbers and potentially have this outcome. But in reality, yeah. like the show just kind of lies to you. And I think it's a little bit, I don't know, it just makes me resent right. a bit. It's just we like, need to write oh. to, the, to Channel 4. I know. Immediately. Get I this know. show farce off the air. Alex, Alex Smith, I've got a show for them. Alex Smith genuinely bushy tries mustache to- mustache bastard off the air. Alex Smith genuinely tries to live under a bridge in Bristol. Like, I, like <laughs> come Channel 4, come, let's make this show. I will that genuinely try watch and live under one of the really dirty bridges under R Bristol's waterways. And yeah. you can make a show about it and that'll be real and I'll hate it. Yeah. Alright, I will go. Oh, it's I'll so hard. It. It's so, I'd happily oh, film you under a bridge mate you've just <laughs> so they you, can save we'll, some we'll pilot it I don't, oh, yeah. but piloting it it's, that's the risk isn't it you don't want to make that's a pilot risk, where yeah. a man has to live under all a bridge the, yeah, you did all the work and then now it's like oh actually it doesn't get picked up <laughs> <laughs> I've just spent three months living under a bridge and you don't want it <laughs> you don't want this oh god, <laughs> oh, god. speaking of grand designs so Chris Trant, you've um, you've decided to try and uh, save time by putting the drill on uh, a Good different fall. plane of movement um, what started with a <laughs> A small amount of scaffolding seems to have devolved into you just taking the whole drill apart and actually yeah. having to just redo it. Unfortunately, uh, Irresponsible. based Irresponsible on the basic uh, mechanisms of a piston, it wouldn't be uh, any more efficient to try and keep the drill up. You see what wow, I mean? Wow, just like when they talk to the people in Grand Design, that's really boring and meandering. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. We'll see you in six months when I you can have to take. unfucked it. No, just one take. <laughs> We're running on low TV budget time. I get it. Uh, <laughs> there's one thing, not necessarily a grand design, but there's one thing I could definitely have less of. It's talking heads from the general public. All right. Let's all agree <laughs> that we don't need it. We don't need like, yeah, no, I've seen, I've read a little bit about it and, um, yeah, like, it seems really bad what they're doing. And like, I, I promise insightful. you, thank the, you the, for that. The, the best, the quickest way to work out whether a talking head 
is either um, an analysis or just them pushing an agenda is you've got to look out for the keyword disgusting. Um, now, as soon as anyone uses the word disgusting when okay. talking about a situation, that is yeah. when you know it's, it's, well, what it's a, just a situation is disgusting or well, someone's covered in like feces like absolutely you know, Steve then that would be a, a great use of the word Ross, but oh, I just don't think it's, it, it's disgusting but yeah I, I appreciate Bust. the irony in me in me being a, almost a public talking head about an opinion about something but you know mm -hmm. get rid of me cancel, cancel me <laughs> you know with pleasure that is disgusting that no, is disgusting I'll tell you what's disgusting coming up next living for three months under a Bristol bridge <laughs> Alex Smith previous outspoken influencer on YouTube <laughs> and Twitch has decided that Falls he hard. wants to do it for real and he's sick of these fraudulent grand design style shows where they're rich people uh, and there is no you know risk associated so he's put all his risk in his life under a bridge mm -hmm. and, and it turns out that I've actually created the show to mask my poverty as opposed to creating the show to mask my richness <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I actually do have to live under this bridge, though, guys. Oh, no, no, He's been coping enough. well. He's been doing <laughs> surprisingly well for months now. Should we stop filming him? No, 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 no. no. I'm living my life. He's going to break. Uh, I'm self-sufficient. We'll I've created a crude point. filter system using some of my old underwear for the water that I drink from the river. Oh, my God. You oh, don't look need a rat. to do that. You don't need to do that. Oh, my God. Surprisingly efficient, though. <laughs> the choices he's made. <laughs> you can see why he's now living in poverty. He used to be wealthy. He made some really bad I've started, decisions. I've, I've, I've restarted and rebranded Hobo's Kitchen, where it's an actual yeah. kitchen now. Ground by a hobo. I have and it's all to just cook for, it this it's way. It's all foreshadowing the stuff we've done up yeah. until now. Oh my god, is that a roses tin? Yes. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> Tried I, can, I can cook a pancake on this. Honestly, <laughs> the, the great thing is when the paint peels off the lid. That's yeah. when it tastes really good. The first yeah. few cooks were a bit bad, I will say, because of the paint. Yeah. But... Now that's all burnt off, it's all good. Paint burnt off. Oh. Right, I've still got 172 plates, and I managed to build quite a sizable platform here with um, some slopey excellent. bits at the back so that you can just climb up and down. That's a good um, sign. I guess now we need to put something on this bloody platform, don't we? Bloody hell, Ross. Bloody hell, Ron. Harry. Bloody Harry, hell. bloody hell. Harry. Hell. Someone's... King of the Hobos just been taught how to enunciate. Uh -oh. No! Oh my! I just... Oh my gosh! D uh, dove into the uh, ravine. Uh, uh, Rupert, make upset. sure you really sound out every pronunciation. Okay. Okay, Harry. And blink as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> really go Harry. mad on the old blinking. Don't don't worry about it. Harry, <laughs> oh Sorry my God, things are falling. Blinking. Sorry, about that. Sorry, a bit of metal just fell off of Trot's construction and nearly crushed me. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody <laughs> hell, Howie! Uh, just construction Bloody things. Bloody hell! Yeah, it was a huge piece of piss and that almost crushed Smith. <laughs> Sorry about that. You should be wearing your hard hat, though. It's not on me. You should. Oh, you should be. I'm actually. I've told you this before, but I'm still alive because of a hard hat. Oh, yeah, Buy yeah. a hard hat. If you ever do any DIY at home where there's shit above you, when you're down at you stuff know tool station you or screw fix or B and Q or wherever the fuck you're buying your shit, wicks. I don't so know. You mean stuff. Right? Um, mm, you mean stuff. stuff? When you're getting your stuff, your DIY, pick up yeah. a hard hat because literally, I would be dead if I hadn't put on a, a hard hat because some tiles fell off of the roof and literally <laughs> smashed into the hat I was wearing. Oh, good lord.